In this video, we're going to talk about Spawn's blood feud with the vampires. A powerless Spawn seeks justice against his nemesis Blood, the leader of the vampires. Alrighty then, this is a comic book breakdown of Spawn, issue number 354, brought to you by Raider Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Spawn, Spawn is on the run with his newfound ally while the vampire legions close in on them. So before we get to that, two months ago, Spawn is taking a nap and he's woken up by Cyan. And if you know anything about Spawn, or at least with the issues that we've read and we've covered, Spawn don't sleep. Spawn ain't got no chill, so for him to take a nap, yo, you know bro is really worked up right now. So Spawn wakes up like, man, Cyan, you settled me, you know, everything's okay? And Cyan's like, I'm fine, so is dad, just came to say hi, see how you're doing. And she says the same thing that we were thinking about, not sure if we ever seen you sleep before. And he's like, didn't need to until recently, but what matters is, how'd you find this place? Please, says Cyan, I've known dad's passwords for years. Your dad, is he still man at the hospital? Like, is he still recovering? And this is referencing, I believe, King Spawn issue number 32 or 33, when Terry Fitzgerald got shot at the party there. And Cyan's like, yeah, he should be out soon. <sighs> That's good news, says Al. There's something I need to tell you. It's about your mom. I know, says Cyan. That's why I'm here. Mom wanted me to tell you not to worry. You don't have to keep looking for you. What, says Spawn? Ever since, like, Spawn 350, he's been wondering where the heck she is. So he's all he could think is, she made it out of hell? Don't know, but honestly, she says she's okay. How'd you talk to her, says Al? She visits me in my dreams. Sometimes, it's just how we talk. How do you know it's her, says Al? Because, says Cyan, I know my mom. But she wanted you to know she's not coming back. She said she's got other things to take care of for you to get on with your life. Cyan's like, and she also told me what went down in hell? Pfft, bro, that sounded pretty heavy. It sounded like a lot. And Al's like, yeah, I'll survive. Well, make sure you don't push yourself. Up. You're human like the rest of us now. Anyway, get back to your beauty sleep. I'll check in on you later. And Al's like, okay, well, you know, cool. And Cyan finishes off with, oh yeah, and one other thing, this is a question we've all been wondering. Hell's throne, mom said she's glad you made the right choice. Okay, so going back to the present time, what the heck do you mean by the right choice? Was it though? With each passing day, more and more doubt creeps in. So much chaos has flowed from that moment. By defeating one evil in hell, he paved the way for another to rise up unchallenged on earth. So heaven and hell agents they ain't got no powers, but these vampires, they roaming around with superhuman strength and they taking hands and they taking names and they throwing hands and no one can say a damn thing about it. And this all happens right when Al Simmons' spawn is at his weakest moment. And what of Nyx and the green world? We all know that Nyx is the ruler of hell since spawn issue number 350. Neither has shown their hand for months now. Their silence has been a cryptic message. So we don't know what's going on, but Spawn and this new ally who has her powers, but we don't know why, she has to be a hybrid or something. This ally is like, this is your plan? Yeah, get in the bike. Can you drive? Yeah, then do it. But another vampire comes out and tries to ambush him and Spawn's like, nah, see this smoke right here. So Spawn tells her to go. And she's like, where am I heading? The main road, two miles down, let's go. There's incoming and Spawn's like, just drive. I got this, it don't matter about the incoming, I got this, whatever's coming, they gonna see this smoke. So Jason went and asked Fixer what's the latest, and Fixer's like closing in on Spawn and the target. Now he's there to gather data, but also, if he can, if he can extract them without anyone being noticed, he's gonna do it, that's his orders. So just because he is who he is, he asked Jason Wynn if he's clear to, to do the extraction. And Jason Wynn's like, yes, granted, but remaining undetected takes priority. Don't worry, says the fixer. The bloodsuckers will never know I was. I guess they'll never, I guess they know I'm here now. He, could, he couldn't even finish his sentence, no. So these vampires look at him like, okay, we know you're here. And he tells Jason Wynn, I got to call you back. So vampire lady is like, so you're one of Wynn's people, aren't you? Now. What are you doing all the way out here? Looking for us? Maybe, maybe not. But without even breaking eye contact with her, he takes out one of the vampire associates. And now it's an all out war right now. So Lady asks Spawn, how's it looking back there? And Spawn's like, I think we're in the clear now, but just keep it moving. And she tells him, as long as we're out in the open, they can hunt us. So take the left, says Spawn, and keep following this road to the city. I've got somewhere we can hide. As they drive, he finally has a chance to stock to his injuries. But since losing his powers, and after that explosion from the previous issue, his symbiote has grown weaker with each passing day, taking longer and longer to reform when damaged. So Spawn asks her, I need to ask, what the heck are you and how do you still have your powers? Are you from heaven? Boy, this ain't the time. No. 
And then she adds, no, I don't work for them people, and my name is Lyra. And why I still have my powers? My best guess is because of my parents. They were on different sides of this damn war. I think that's why I'm immune to the dead zones. So you're a hybrid, says Spawn. Believe me, I'm not thrilled about it either. You should be. You're the only one with powers right now that could throw hands with these vampires. But anyways, but this isn't about me. Your friend back there, that's what it's about, huh? And she's talking about Eddie George. So before he could answer that question, incoming comes in and these vampires are going all out. And before we could go on to the next panel, we got to admire this art right here where all these legion of vampires are just focusing in on them too based on Blood's order. But based on what you see right here, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like in the content so far. And also this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. With all that being said, hey, let's get back into the content. So even though Spawn is handling business right now by just going to work with these fools with this gat, well, she sees something coming in and this guy is coming in for all of it. He suicides into the bike, crash him down to the ground. Spawn is just in more pain than he was in before. He gets up, but not by his own efforts. A vampire gets him up, positions him up, Eddie Frank is there and he tells him, dial our lord, tell him we've got Spawn. Ah, so they do that and Blood is like, ah, there he is, the almost king of hell. How's it feel being so inferior to others? Not good, is it? Imagine then how us vampires felt for hundreds of years living under the thumb of heaven and hell, having to cower just to survive. None of you were ever going to get that throne. You know why? Because you're all too impatient. You lack the discipline to hold back, to watch your enemies destroy themselves, to play the fool when needed. Look where it's gotten all of you, and now killing you would just be mercy. Because you never seem to think through your consequences of your actions. Take young Eddie here. You care about him. He means a lot to you, doesn't he? But you keep making his life worse. Watch Eddie. Yes, Lord. Kill yourself. Yo. And Eddie proceeds to do just that with his own weapon. And Spawn, all he can do is just beg for Blood to stop this. No, I don't think I will, says Blood. You see, I've only got one servant I can hurt that you care about. So remember this moment, Spawn, and Eddie Frank just continues to use his own weapon to do the work. And Blood continues to add salt to the wound because things are gonna get so bad for you, Al, that today will seem like a happy memory. You don't know what I've got in store for you. We don't wanna know either. But back to Director Wynn, I know, this is just the way the comic goes. So Director Wynn, he's being reported that there's something in the area, a hostile maybe. We're running checks on it, but it'll be helpful if we had eyes on the ground. Try to establish contact with the Fixer, says Wynn. And they're like, we've been trying to, but there's been no response. Fixer has been unfixed right now. <laughs> Anyways, so one of Jason Wynn's comrades is like, sir, I think we got a match on this hostile's energy signature. We can't be certain, but... It looks like it might be from the green world. And this brother lands. Sorry for the intrusion, everyone. Just want to reintroduce myself. My name is... No, no, no we're not going to go Jay-Z over here. But his name is Jim Downing from the green world. And that is the end of this issue of Spawn. Issue number 354. It's a blood feud. A powerless Spawn seeks justice against his nemesis. Yo, what you guys think of the comic book? Comment below. Let me know. And also, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool limited print Rated comments exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.